there was a poll recently that came out on MTV, I think, of millennials um, asking, the question was, what, what is motivating you to show up on November 6th? And the first item on the list was the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings. What you are doing is allowing someone who actually violated a woman to sit in the Supreme Court. I think that confrontation was really the result of um, a lot of collective pain and rage. I felt like Senator Flake and other senators had a tremendous opportunity to signal to the country that they would not reaffirm by supporting the nomination of Kavanaugh a culture that enables sexual violence. And they so totally failed. I was also reminded that we, for the most part, have politicians and not political leaders. Political leaders actually seize a moment and they failed. So I think the main impact that this moment had in our politics was reminding all of us of the necessity to break through the walls that politicians built around them. And I think that confrontation like unleashed a sense of urgency around kind of showing up and making them listen to us and a sense of possibility that that can actually have an impact. I feel a great level of responsibility now to make sure that we talk about the fullness of who we are. So I am an immigrant, I am a mother, I'm queer, I am now, I have embraced this identity as a survivor of sexual violence. And I think really kind of building across all these different, both identities but communities, feels incredibly important to me as I continue to imagine the work that I do to continue to build a country that I want for myself and for my children. The Center for Popular Democracy is a network of community organizations. People show up with ideology all over the spectrum to these spaces, and what they find in community is a sense of possibility. The work that happens in the basements of churches, in union halls, barber shops, that is work that bridges differences and that allows people to see themselves in each other. That's why I have devoted my life to community organizing because, and not to politics, but to community organizing because I believe it is that kind of human interaction that allows us to overcome the political differences that we may have and, and find common ground and find common purpose. I want to ask people to think about the things that make them a little bit afraid, things that they wish they could do but haven't done yet, and try to do it, because I think if we all begin to walk a little bit past our fear, first, fear, the politics of fear will lose their power, and second, we will bring into existence the country that we want to see.